Hello, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. We previously did a video about the best things about keeping guinea pigs. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the worst things about keeping guinea pigs. We recently made a video about what guinea pig owners thought were the best things about owning a guinea pig. We also asked what the 10 worst things about owning guinea pigs are. This is what you said. Noise was something that was a problem for some of you, but this was usually if you had guinea pigs in your bedroom. They are active pets who make various noises for different reasons. This isn't so good if you're trying to sleep, especially if you're a light sleeper. Health was a big concern for you, and this included worrying about the health and the fact that they can go downhill fast when they get ill. The feeling of helplessness when your guinea pig is suffering is something that is a worry. Finding a good vet was also an issue, as many vets aren't very experienced with these small animals. Most guinea pig owners become very attached to these adorable little bundles of fur and they only usually live between four to eight years. Saying goodbye to a pet is never easy and many of you were really worried about when this moment happens to you and your pet. Guinea pigs need really big cages and you need to be willing to forfeit a chunk of space in your home if you want to care for these pets. This was one of the bugbears of keeping guinea pigs for quite a few of you. There is no doubt that keeping guinea pigs can be messy. If you have a cage with grids and shavings or a similar bedding, it can get kicked out of the cage and end up all over the floor of your room. Even if you use fleece liners, you'll still get some mess with the hay. In fact, pulling the hay out of the hay racks onto the cage floor is something many of you said was a real pain. Guinea pigs are actually not very smelly animals compared to most small pets. Providing you keep the cage cleaned regularly and choose the right bedding, you may barely notice any smell. But any smell will be more noticeable in a small room, and especially if you have a sensitive sense of smell. Before we move on to number four, we want to let you know about our new Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, we'd love you to join and share your guinea pig pictures, questions and advice. I've put a link to our group in the description below. Now back to the worst things about owning guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are a lot of work. Long-haired piggies need grooming and hair cutting and all guinea pigs need nail cutting. Hay needs to be kept topped up. They need fresh food and pellets daily. They may need a bath from time to time too and the cage needs cleaning regularly. This is the bare minimum that they need and it just shows how much of a commitment a guinea pig is. Guinea pigs aren't cheap pets because they need money spent on them on an ongoing basis and not just at the start when you buy the cage, bowls, water bottles, etc. They need plenty of fresh hay, food pellets and fresh veggies too. They also need fresh bedding replaced regularly and this is before we've even considered vet bills. If your guinea pig is sick, you will need to see the vet and depending on what is wrong, it may be a lot more than you had anticipated. Anyone who has guinea pigs knows that guinea pigs are poop machines. It's a wonder they poop so much, but they do. Some of you also mentioned they didn't like it when their guinea pigs pooped or weed on them. Although they don't usually wee on you unless you have them out for too long and ignore their requests to go back. I'm sure it's no surprise that cage cleaning is voted the number one worst thing about keeping guinea pigs. 
This is time consuming and messy, but there is a good thing that comes from it and that is happy piggies. Our guinea pigs get so excited after their cage has been cleaned and that makes it all worthwhile. If this sounds rather daunting and you haven't watched our other video on the best things about keeping guinea pigs, make sure you watch that next. I'll put a link in the description below.